there is a video explaining the rules of these speed runs. If you don't care, here you go. This is Flipnote Studio 3D. This is actually different from the 3DS version because 3D gives us access to an infinite number of frames on our projects as well as to access to layers and different frame rates. So if you're using the DSi version and you're wondering why it's a little different, it's because it is a different version. Let's get into our workspace adjustments. We're gonna click forward over here, go to settings, click tools. Mine's already advanced, but you should be on normal. Click advanced because that's what gives us access to our layers. When you click OK, back, go back over here and create a new project by clicking create. Awesome, I'm gonna draw a project and we're gonna just list out our hockeys because this is a simple software. So, hockeys. B lets us cycle through our brushes. A lets us cycle through our layers. Holding Y gives us access to the undo and redo tool and if you press X, it completely deletes the frame. Holding L gives us access to our zoom tool as well as a quick move tool and we can cycle through our layers from here. Pressing forward on the D-pad goes forward in the timeline as well as adds a new frame and pressing back goes back on the timeline. Pressing down gives us quick play and pressing up gives us access to our toolbars. I'm gonna animate something, it's not gonna look the best because I'm using a mouse so give me a break. All right, that's good enough. All right, let's get into our first tool, the brush tool. Here's our brush tool, our paint brush tool, and our eraser tool. If you want access to different nibs, you're gonna click this little square down here, and here are different nibs. If you hold L, you get thicker nibs and a couple different ones. This is how it works for most other tools. The paint brush is mainly used for shading and coloring. By clicking this, we get our different shades, and if you hold L, we get access to the paint bucket tool and different darker shades. For the eraser tool, if you hold L, you get access to dithering erasers. Dithering is just stippling for pixels. Let's get into our playback and frame rates. It's automatically set to a loop, but if you want to set it to a single play, you just click this and it's a little forward. That's how you know you're not in loop mode. I'm gonna keep it in loop mode. For frame rates and, and flip note, they are only set. There is no custom frame rate, so I'm going to go by them. There are 11 frame rates because zero is a frame rate. Zero is one frame every five seconds. One is one frame every two seconds. Two is one FPS. Three is two FPS. Four is four FPS. Five is six FPS. Six is eight FPS. Seven is 12 FPS. 8 is 20 FPS, 9 is 24 FPS, and 10 is 30 FPS. Most people stick to 12, 24, and 30, but just starting out, you whatever you want. This is your project. Who gives a shit? Layers and nibs. This is where we change the color of our nib. If you change it right here, it's going to change all of our line color. That's why there's two brushes. You can cycle through the colors by clicking this, or you can switch them manually. And if you want to adjust your layer visibility, you can also hold L, and that gives us access to what frames or what layers are visible and what is not. That is the layer toolbar. Let's get into our select and adjustments toolbar. Right here, we can actually adjust the paper color. Right now, it's transparent. You can make it all these colors. It's only like a couple colors because it's flip note, but that's fine. Copy just copies the last frame infinitely until you have the tool off, and Lightbox is our onion skin. Right now, I have a two-frame exposure, but you can change to four or one depending on what you want. Select is the classic mark tool where you just select things. You can either move it, delete it, paint it, and here are a couple of extra settings if you're interested in that. Let's go into move and resize. So right here we can move it. This is based off the layer. So we can move, we can rotate, we can also resize, and we can flip vertically or horizontally. Let's go back, cancel, yes. All right, now let's go into our shape. So that's basically the shape tool. And if you wanna change the, the shape of the shape, you click that little square right there and there's a circle and a line. All right, let's get into our timeline for adjusting exposures. Flip note is very simple. The only way to adjust exposures is quite literally just by copy and pasting these frames. So I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna insert a frame, then I'm gonna copy this and paste it to extend that exposure. And if I wanna delete it, I gotta cut it, just like the old school film days, what people love so much. Insert holding L on the timeline lets you copy individual layers onto different frames as well. That is a timeline. Let's get into the camera. So the camera tool, put this right here. If I had a camera, this is where you take photos for stop motion blocking. Fairly self-explanatory. This controls the exposure and the type of photo you're going to take. It's a very neat little tool and fun to take pictures. Let's get into the audio sequencer tool. This is based off what what frame rate you're at. So I'm going to record something right here. Record, 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 record. This is a test, 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 test. Obviously, I'm going to play it right here. Record, record, record. Very slow, very fast. Cool little thing. And if you want to erase it, you just click this. It's a nice little tool. And if you want to sequence it, so I'm going to do this right here. Test. You're going to click audio sequencer and place a flag for whatever frame you want to put it on. Click that. Okay, cool. That is the audio sequencer. Let's export this. We're gonna get save. Quit. View. Click that. Details. Export. Those are your export options, and that is Flipnote, baby. As I said in the rules, I am not even scratching the surface of these softwares. I'm just trying to help you animate a ball. You know, you have any corrections? Leave it in the comment. Help people out. Be nice. I hope this helped. And if you want to see other runs or even more of my videos, just click any of these playlists or click my channel. Thank you so much.